my Key West 1720 2002 model came from the factory without a valve cleat. This was standard back then. I would like to install one. Uh, for the last four years, I have been using the grab rail to tie a dock line to, and I'd like to get away from that. So I purchased on eBay a couple of Atwood's neat cleats. This is a pop-up cleat can see here. It also has drain tubes to collect the water that comes out through the area where this slides down. So it can be channeled into a, uh, an area which I'm going to channel it into the anchor locker to run to the bilge. Also bought a couple of backing plates to give it a real solid hold on the deck. Originally, let's see if I can swing the camera around. I was going to mount one here and here. One on either side because I was concerned that the trolling motor, when I had the trolling motor installed or on the boat, that use, if I had a single cleat right here, which would be very easy to install, that the dock line would have to go over the trolling motor and I didn't want to be putting the pressure on it. But, as you can see, I've already taken some measurements and I'll pause the camera for just a second and show you with the trolling motor on, the clearance I've got, and I think that's the way I'm gonna go. All right, now I've installed the trolley motor temporarily and you can see that if I mount this neat cleat right here and the part that will be showing is slightly uh, shorter in length than the backing plate so I'll have plenty of clearance here and I'll still be able to run a dock line underneath trolling motor and this would be a lot easier install than if I was mounting it say one right here and again on the other side which would have to go somewhere in this neighborhood here okay I have played around with this and played around with it going back and forth on whether I need to abandon a center mount and just go with two side mounts, which I really don't want to have to do. I've gone back to the center mount. I've measured the distance of the anchor locker inside. And I keep coming up with, well, if I could, uh, let me see if I can do this here. I keep coming up with a measurement of eight and seven eighths to what appears to be level going across. Maybe eight and thirteen sixteenths. And when I do the same, when I check that up top here, that puts me I can get the camera oriented correctly here. With just barely right there enough room to get that bolt installed. Should be about right there. And if I turn that bolt like this, and I've got it, I've got it marked. I've been playing around with it. That is right at eight and seven eighths. So I'm gonna give it a shot. If I have to, I can always come back a little bit this way. I'm not real happy. It's already starting to hit this little bit of a indentation here where it slopes down so that you can grab the well, 
I guess that's where the rope comes out. Let's see here. It's not going to make any difference. So that's what I'm going to go with. Try to make this an easier install. And if I do this, I don't even have to put the little drain cups on it. And it'll drain right into the anchor locker. And water will run right on out. What little bit of water gets in there. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We're going to drill a hole. I'm going to drill two of them. Let it work. Cheat. Bring it back just a hair more. Every little bit helps. Maybe to right there. So you can see how it comes through there. Let's see if I can get a side view of it. There you go. And again, there's a picture of the finished install. 4200. It's been applied. It's been tightened down. Very nice. And this is a picture of the final install as seen from beneath the bow deck. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave in the comments below. And if you're out on the water fishing, wishing everybody bent rods and tight lines.